Yes, yes, do it to me. I've been such a naughty, naughty girl. I really deserve it. Thank you, thank you for treating me like that. Thank you for taking care of me so well. I love you so much. You are my master. Have you ever felt like being the submissive, letting go, just completely letting someone take control of you sexually? If you have, or if you fantasized about it, then stay tuned and we are going to talk about it in this video. My name is Leanna Walden. I'm a sexual energy activator and a relationship and intimacy specialist. I help couples and singles that are adventurous, that are in long-term relationships, create extraordinary intimate and sexual lives. So part of this is exploring sexually. And, this, and today we're gonna to talk about exploring in playing the role of the submissive. What does that mean? How do you go there? What do you do? I talked about the dominant in my last video, so check that out if you want to be the dominant. But obviously the dominant is important in a submissive dominant connection. But we're going to talk about you as a submissive, dropping into that beautiful, deep, surrendering place. Now this can be for any anybody. <laughs> you can be a man, a woman, you can be any sexuality if you want to become the submissive. It is part of an aura, part of your a dimension that you're going to play, part of a role play, part of a feeling and, and um, a place that you can go where you can just drop in, surrender yourself. And I mean surrender physically because you're going to give what you do physically up to somebody else's decision. Okay, they're going to tell you what to do physically. You do not have to make decisions around that. You're going to drop into this emotionally because you're going to allow yourself to be dominated, to be taken control of, to be told what to do. So you want to get yourself into an emotional state that is relaxed and tender and, and receptive. Okay, this is the hardest part <laughs> because... We may feel like we want to be that submissive, but to really allow yourself to be um, able to submit, to, to listen to, to follow, to be, be completely in that space is difficult when we lead, we lead very, usually very controlled lives uh, in our daily life, in our work, in our families, in our relationships. But this is an opportunity to stretch a part of who you are and this, and this, uh, to stretch this, this surrender aspect of your being and become the one who is receptive, receiving, and just listening and following and allowing, okay? So that's emotionally. And also spiritually, because it becomes this kind of dance between the two of you. And you want to be able to just allow the dance to take place without blocking it, causing restrictions, repressing it, pulling away from it, being afraid of it. You want to just be in it, in the union of your being, in the beautiful um, unraveling of your being. And energetically, you also are, it is also an energetic experience because now the two of you are going to play this out and you need to bounce the energy between you, okay? It's, it is a large part of you being able to surrender to what the dominant is requesting and to your own being. But it's a game, it's a game that's played, it's a dance that's played between the two of you. So as the dominant is able to take control and be able to direct and lead and penetrate, you are able to create more of that dominance as you let go, surrender, relax, become the submissive, become the one who follows, that takes orders, that drops deeper into their, their, um, it's hard to describe what, exactly what I'm trying to say, but let me just see if I can find these beautiful words. The, 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 the essence of 
of, of um, innocence, okay? The essence of your innocence. Yes, yes, I agree with everything you say. I follow everything you say. I love everything you say. Anything you do to me is, is fine. I, I love you for it. I want more of it. You know, really going into that place, the deep innocence of your being. And that's what the submission is about. Okay. So I can, I can feel it in my body. You can feel it if you, if you, if you let go of your energy and you f go into dropping deeper, deeper, deeper into a place of becoming smaller, just smaller and more relaxed. Okay. Because you want the dominant energy to be able to envelop you, right? and envelop you, hold space for you, be there for you, direct you, lead you, and you as a submissive want to just be quiet and soft and follow and loving and, and free, and then the dance can be performed. Now, I want to say, I want to suggest some, some practical elements here, because this is, this is a lot of sort of the esoteric, energetic aspects, but let's get into the practical, practical points around becoming the submissive. First of all, make sure between you and your partner that you have some kind of safe words, okay? I like to use green, yellow, red, because that gives you sort of three levels that you can participate on, and you can use those words while you're in the scene, and it doesn't distract from the scene, it doesn't take you out of the scene, but they're clear, right? So your partner, dominant partner, may check in on you, or even if they don't, and you, you need to say you need to relay certain information without dropping out of becoming the submissive, you can say yellow, which means I'm a little bit nervous and please go with caution through this, whatever you're asking me to do, okay? And the dominant understands that. Or if it really is pushed too far and you, you've gone beyond your boundary, um, and that can be anything. I mean, it's different for everybody. Somebody who may be taking a spanking as a submissive may be able to take only a few and it's, it's too much. It, it creates some reverberation through your entire being and your, something comes up and you just can't take it anymore. It's too much and you're ready to explode. You need to use red. Someone else may be able to take very hard, intense spankings until it comes to a point like red, now that's enough. Or maybe they can go a lot further. Everybody is at a different phase, so do not judge yourself for wanting to say red. Do not judge yourself for wanting to say red. Go as far as you can, and red is when you cannot go any farther, and then the play should stop. And you and the dominant come out of your play, out of your positions of submissive and dominant, and discuss, okay, how is that for you? Why did you call red? What were you feeling? What was going on? How you know, and just breathe. Sometimes it can take your nervous system to a place where it's super highly activated because you've pushed maybe too far and you need some time to just pull back. Okay. And just relax. And, and I call this, um, this part, the aftercare or it's called the aftercare. And this is when you call red or when you have finished playing your entire scene for however long that is, you have always, 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 you need the aftercare which is the time when you're back to your, your own personas and you're, you're relaxing together and you're cuddling with each other and you're loving each other kindly, gently, talking about what did you like, what worked for you, what didn't work for you, what would you like more of, what would you like less of, what would you like to try, you know, asking questions, being curious, just being with each other in a gentle aftercare kind of way, keeping warm, keeping covered, and just being gentle. So back to the practical aspect. So you have you have your um, your safe words. I suggest also that you maybe choose a name for yourself that's different. Now it could be as simple as Dom, the Dom, you are my Dom, and the submissive, you are my sub. But it's a different name and it helps to take you into that character and it helps you, it helps you find, feel, feel yourself into that place. 
you can, it can be sub, it can be another name. It could be, for me, I call myself Gabrielle. Gabrielle is the part of me that is the sexy, exploratory part of me. Gabrielle goes into all sorts of explorations, experiences that are very sexual. And, and, and I feel that in my being when I'm Gabrielle. I'm a different being, okay? Um, and my partner had his name as well. And so when we used those names, we knew that we were dropped into those characters, into those parts of us. And we could then really dive in, feel it more, experience it more, play with it more. Okay, so that may be something you want to try, uh, choosing a name. The other is to pick a time and date that you're going to do this. If you are, if you have, if you've discussed it and it's something that you're excited about trying, pick a date and time. Okay, we're going to, and so that you can allow yourself time to prepare emotionally and physically for that time you come together. It will give the Dom some time to prepare maybe various things that he wants, maybe rope, ties, uh, floggers, spankers, um, you know, various things that he wants, butt plugs, I don't know. Like there's, there's a lot of different kinds of things that you can use depending on what level you are and what kind of things turn you on and what kind of surprises he may have in store for the submissive. So get himself prepared so things are ready, but also for the submissive, for you to get prepared in, okay, I'm gonna really let go. Maybe you wanna dress in something that makes you feel more submissive if you have a particular character. I went through many different kinds of characters as a submissive little girl with one of them. I like to wear this little cute dress, little panties, little socks, <laughs> all little, and, um, put my hair in ponytails, and I like to play the little girl um, that had her daddy or her dom daddy that would take her on a journey. That changed. I went, to, went through many different kinds of characters, and I always loved to put on the costume. So you may want to do that. That really can help. Um, and so these are kind of the practical things. Make sure that when you play this out on the day and the time, there are no distractions whatsoever. Both of you can make sure of that. I mean, you can obviously talk about this before uh, planning it. The planning part is the fun part too. It's the anticipation, it's the foreplay, getting yourself ready for this, this exciting event that you're gonna have. No distractions. <laughs> so that you really wanna have a look, time and place where you can drop in and just enjoy it, right? really enjoy exploring this different part of you. And now you're on the date, the time you're, you're going to make this happen. And you may have certain things planned, so just allow those things to start. But then let go energetically and go slowly and take your time, okay? You wanna feel each other, and you will if you just go slowly. Don't think that this is a game of tricks or a play of tricks. Okay, I'm going to do this with her, then I'm going to do that with her, and she's going to do this, and she's going to do that, and, 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 you know, it's not a game of tricks. It is an energetic, exploratory dimension that the two of you are going to go into. So you're going to feel your way through it. And you feel it by, by, okay, I did this. Now, what, how did that reaction come from there? And, ooh, that made me want to do this next, okay? So let's say you, you, you get her to take her clothes off and wear, she's just wearing a lingerie and she wanted to stand there and just not move and keep her he eyes down. And then, oh, like I want to walk around and look at her. Hmm, interesting. What do I want to do with her? Hmm, bend over. Mm hmm, I want to... Pull her panties down. Yeah, that's perfect. Now what? Okay, I have some rope and, um, okay, I want her to lie on the bed now. You know, so take your time just watching, playing it out. I need her to say these things to me or I need him. If you are uh, taking your, your male partner on the journey, it's the same thing. Allow it to feel feel, feel your way through to a certain extent. You know, you, you will get better at this. You have some planned things, but okay, I have this and this and that plane, but what do I feel like doing here? And if you don't know, stop. As the dominant, 
you can you can make your submissive wait a long time while you're both figuring out what it is you want to do. You maybe just want them to massage your feet while you watch them and you can you can then decide how you want to take this, how well they're doing. Right? So as a submissive, just keep yourself in that place. Keep yourself um, in that submissive role. Now you might be, there are different kinds of submissive roles you can play and you are going to be your own very own special submissive. You may be a naughty, naughty submissive. I was often naughty and I didn't like to listen to my dom all the time and I would do things that would be uh, a little bit against him because I wanted to be punished. Okay, so you can, you are part of this game too. I say you, you, you don't, you, you, you surrender and you become the submissive, but you have a certain amount, you have a large amount of control because you can decide like how far you, this game is going to go and how far it's going to flow. Okay. If you, if you let go more and then you push some buttons to, to activate him and stimulate him or her, the dom to do more to you by being naughty then you're going to get that kind of reception from them. All right. So it's a really beautiful play. It's a polarity play that is a beautiful um, form of expression for a couple to go into. It allows you both to dive into your masculine and feminine energies and what are these all about? Go into your submissive energies, your dominant energies and Really let yourself go. Be big. Be bold. Be brave. Okay, these are sometimes scary energies to go into and you'll be like, well, holy shit. Like, I want to like really whack him on the ass because I just, oh, I really feel like it. And he's being really bad. And he's not listening to me. And go there. You know, he has red. If it's too much for him, I'll tell you, like, if you're the dom woman with a submissive guy, I'm getting into the domination again because the dom is the one that's leading it in a way. But um, if you're the submissive and you want more, 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 then you just taunt your dom to give you more. Taunt them. They're waiting for the red. That's why you have this, the, 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 the words, the um, safe words, because then you can go as far as you want with each other and then you have those safe words, right? If it's too far for either of you, the dom might say red too. Okay, for either of you, you have them. And that's really important. Okay, I think I've done enough talk on this. I hope this helps you. If you have any comments or questions, please post them below. I would love to hear from you. This is a big topic and I've touched upon a, a few things that I think should get you started. Um, and I will be back. Oh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Click the link above. And if you want some personal help through this, I have an awesome program called the Sensual Couple Sensual Playground Activation. We will go into this aspect. These are things that couples that have been together for a while often don't allow each other to play out. So we go into some of this kind of play. We talk about it and we try to expand into it along with a lot of other interesting play that will transform your life through a 90-day um, adventure with me. Get on a call. Let's talk about it. I would love to have a conversation with you first and find out if this is for you. Activationpleasure.com is the link to book a call. I would love to hear from you. I will also post it in the description. Thank you for coming. I love to see you and see you next week. Mwah! Much love making.